Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm very sleepy today. I just woke up. Don't judge my face. And I have an exciting video regarding hair because it's been like a month, maybe more, almost two months of my big dramatic change. I cut all my hair off into a very long hair to a short bob. And actually, Red Mondo, Red Mondo. I'm still in shock, reacted to uh, this big hair transformation of mine, it's crazy, um, if a lot of you come from Bradmondo, thank you, and hi, and I hope you subscribe, you can subscribe, please subscribe, go subscribe, welcome to the fam, um, but yeah, I was very very happy about that, very shook and very scared of what he was going to say, but it was good, actually it was a good review, so I'm happy, thank you Bradmondo, you were the hair bow. Alright, so to kind of honor that, and since it's been almost two months since I cut my hair, I thought I should give you an updated hair routine, but I didn't want it to be a very like boring hair routine. So I thought I could do something funny here, like the 73 questions like Vogue does on its channel. Of course, I'm not going to answer 73, just answer some questions about hair and also show you my hair routine for this bob. And who is going to ask the question? You! You're going to ask the questions. You, the subscribers and everyone that sent me a hair related questions on my Instagram, those are the questions that I will be answered. But who is going to ask them is actually Google's robotic voice that you just heard. Google is going to do this for me, won't you? I guess I have no choice. Yeah, you have no choice. So let's go, let's roll the intro. Okay, let's start this hair routine. He's actually in a bun right now. Do you regret cutting your hair? No, I don't regret it at all, actually. <laughs> I'm saying this while looking like a potato. <laughs> No, but I don't regret it at all. It's been almost two months and it was like the best decision ever. At least for now, I'm really feeling my short hair. Why did you cut it? Well, I decided to cut it because I'm always up for a change and I've been loving and getting really inspired with people with short hair. I've been saving it on my folders, my inspo folders. And yeah, I guess it was time. I was just gaining courage and I did it. Is this your natural hair color? Yes, this is my natural hair color. Actually, right now it is dyed because I have my bleached under part, I guess you can say, and I had to dye it because I wanted my hair all the same color. So, of course, some dye went in all the hair, but this is like my real color. And in case you're wondering, I think this is shade number two for almost all hair brands. How many times a week do you wash it? I actually wash my hair like uh, two times per week. I would say from any other like three days or so. And uh, it's time to wash it now. So I'm actually going to show you. What shampoo do you use? Actually, I'm not too picky about my shampoo. I gotta say that I love the H&S um, shampoo, anti-dandruff. I don't know why, it's not that I suffer from dandruff. I just love how it smells and I love how it leaves my hair. I just am a little bit careful not to pick shampoos that are too dry because I have dry hair. Uh, other than that, I just want them to smell good and make my hair shiny. The best products for shine. Actually, I would say for a shiny and more manageable hair, I would highly recommend the usage of a hair mask. And not any like particular one. Uh, this actually is the Svarskov uh, Glace one, but I'm always changing hair masks, so I wouldn't say buy this specific one. More than conditioner will help your hair to be more manageable and more shiny, so I highly, highly, highly recommend. Finally, time to get off the shower. It doesn't get puffy. Puffy? 
that's actually funny and my hair is very very poofy by the way because I have a lot of hair it's very thick and it has a lot of volume so there's going to be a lot of things in this hair routine that will help with that and taking the volume away but it actually can start with a towel let me just tell you that I learned this just um, very very recently which is the microfiber towel I've been using just regular towels like this for my hair as well for my whole life and recently I was working with a brand that sent me this and I was very uh, curious about these towels and I tried them and let me tell you that it does make a change it makes your hair more uh, shiny too and it takes the volume away it makes it more defined so I can totally see why people with curly hair use these kind of towels and I just put it like this how pretty do I look? <laughs> Would you bleach it again? Yes, I would bleach it again, I would cut it again, I would dye it again. As long as I live, I will be changing my hair because I, I just love a change. I think now it's best for me to put some proper clothes and some makeup to look more presentable. So, much better now. Was your hair damaged with a bleach? No, it, actually it wasn't damaged at all and I think a uh, part of it was because I bleached my hair very carefully and uh, in two parts. If you watched my first video where I bleached my hair, it didn't went uh, from black to platinum blonde and I know the result wasn't the best, but I always think it's better to have a more yellow tone first and wait just a bit before you bleach it again. How do you dry it? Oh, I blow dry it, of course, so let's do that now. Reasons for liking short hair? Oh, reasons to like it? There's so many reasons to like it. I've been just obsessed with everything about having short hair, but uh, I would say the one thing that shocked me the most is how fast I actually dry it. How to manage the bangs after shower? Oh, the bangs? I always blow dry my hair really wildly. Wildly is that even a word? Like from all directions, I don't really care too much when I'm blow drying it. But with bangs, here's the trick. If I just blow dry them like this, it will be nasty and very hard to manage. So with the bangs, I always do this. Always blow dry the bangs in this direction so they can get into their natural shape. And for the rest of the hair, just do whatever, just blow dry it. I think I just broke my blow dryer. Why is your hair so thick? Yeah, I don't know why. Please tell me why is my hair so thick? Uh, maybe genetics, but uh, it's so thick. Look at all this volume. I think it actually broke my blow dryer <laughs> from overheating. Do you have naturally straight hair? Oh, actually no. My hair, uh, since I blow dried it, you cannot see properly, but it creates some waves and uh, it's basically kind of wavy, especially here in the back, as you can see and it has a lot of volume, so it's not as straight as you see in the pictures. I use a hair straightener. What straightener do you use? Oh, I actually have a lot of hair straighteners that I've tried, and uh, some I like, some I don't, but lately I've been loving this one and helps me a lot with my short hair. This is the Tymo ring a uh, straightener and I also have a um, discount code for you guys on the description in case you want to grab it. They are having a really good Valentine's Day promo, everything is explained on the description but the thing that I love the most about this one is that it doesn't harm your hair as much and it's really easy for short hair. Mi pelo está danado, ¿qué productos me recomiendan? Oh, a little Spanish, I see you. Yeah, uh, if you have really damaged hair, I would actually advise you to do kind of this routine that I did and really go for the hair mask. Actually, you can leave it for like 20 minutes and then go wash it, it really helps. But I also recommend the same hair straightener because this helps with damaged hair. It's not as harmful as the other straighteners that really press your hair. So yeah, I would recommend this one. Sorry, I cannot reply in Spanish because my Spanish is bad. And this straightener comes with a glove so you don't get burned. 
How do you use the hair straightener? I take some hair out of the way and I start on the bottom here. The glove really helps. And I just do it like this, put the hair here and go really till the end. And it's so pretty, as you can see, it's actually really fast. And I do this all over the hair. See the difference? How often do you straighten your hair? Oh, I straighten my hair every time I wash it. So if I wash it two times a week, which is the regular, I straighten it two times a week. So I do this routine after shower, blow dry and straighten it. And it lasts until I need to wash it again. So yeah, two times a week. How do you style your bangs? Oh, actually, after I straighten the rest of the hair, I just bring them to the front. And please remember the blow dry step, it's very important. But then I just put them here. Let's just run through them to make them straight. Then just jiggle them. They are ready to go. Actually, the entire hair is already dried. It was like five minutes, maybe less. Time a ring is really, really fast. Do you miss your old hair? Oh, actually, no, I don't miss it at all. I'm not one of those people that really misses things. I move on from things really quickly. So I don't miss my long hair, at least for now. How do you get your hair silky and shiny? Actually, it's hair oil. I highly recommend the hair mask. It helps a lot. And also the towel, like I told you, all of that helps with silky smooth hair. But for shine, hair oil is the holy grail. I just place it in the ends like this. How to deal with split ends? Oh, split ends, I don't usually have much because I'm always cutting my own hair, trimming it. Even when my hair was long, I trim it like every other two months or so. Uh, just a tiny bit, even if it's just one centimeter. It really helps with split ends, but also hair oil really helps so I highly recommend to add oil to your hair routine even if you have oily hair you can just put a little bit on the ends I even put it a little bit to the bangs do you cut your hair in bangs yourself actually my mom helps with this one because I cannot see on the back because it's so short but when it was long I did it all by myself and I have videos of it I cut my own bangs I just feel safer at home probably I'm not but I just feel like I'm in control I used to hate hair salons any hair secrets oh hair secrets I think I showed you almost all of them but if I would share like one last secret would be to spray some hairspray into your hand tap it and then just really go next to the roots and just try to get the baby hairs to glue on your head. That way there won't be any hairs flying over here. This was actually my entire hair routine, so if you have any last questions? Pro and cons of long and short hair. Oh, the pros and cons, there are so many to each one of the hairstyles. I actually love them both and I think people really gain a lot when they try new things. So if you have long, go short. If you have short, grow it, put extensions, try long. I just think if you're feeling like doing a change, just go for it. So yeah, guys, this was everything. I really love my hair right now. I've been feeling this cut. So I hope that if you have the same cut or if you wanna do it, this routine helps a lot. And even if you have different hairstyles, maybe it will help you. I hope so. I hope I replied to all of your hair questions. If you have any other questions, you can pop them on the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and become part of my YouTube fam. Also, you can turn on the bell notifications to get notified every time I post. You can also check down below the Timo links and discount code and also the links to my social platforms like Instagram, TikTok and Depop where I sell my clothes. I'm sorry, there's so many things I have to say. Yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Love you guys and see you next week. Bye.